Never, ever, ever give up on your calling. A calling has many different names. A purpose, the things that you seriously love doing, a passion maybe. Uh, so whatever you call it, never give up on it because you never know whether it will turn into something lucrative in the future. So there's this takeaway from the Alchemy for Life that I was just reading and it just brought up all these like ideas in my mind about uh, what's been going on in my own life. Like, you know, I spend uh, the last like eight years teaching and the last four years I've been building up Bookmatic. Like, this is what I absolutely love doing. I love spreading the message about books. I love helping people with learning how to implement the knowledge that they gain from work, uh, from the books. I love helping people to remember what they read. So like all of these things have taken time. Four years, four years. Some people take a lot longer to get up on their two feet. And you know, I'm not even perfect yet. I still got a long ways to go. But you know, that's the point. It's like you can have a job that maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it, who knows? but at least you're getting your salary and you have a roof over your head, you can buy food, that's great. But while you're doing that primary job, you can work on the calling that you have or the purpose. And it may take you 10 years to get to the point to where you can live stably off of the calling that you have. Take for example, if you love photography, you love taking pictures of scenery, let's say, or maybe you love taking pictures of people, let's say, but your skills are not good enough yet. Your editing is not that good. Your experience with it is not that good yet, but you practice, you practice editing, you take pictures of your friends. Maybe eventually you go to a wedding and that, that person invites you to take pictures of the wedding. Yeah, so like eventually you're going to be able to build up your skills as long as you have the time for it, the energy for it, and the resources for it. This is directly from the book here, by the way, time, energy, and resources then you can potentially make a good living off of your calling. Then you would not actually have to work for a boss anymore. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> now, this will not work for every single person, but you could potentially have your main job and also have your side hustle. You can be making extra money on the side. Maybe 300, 400, 500, 1,000, $10,000. Who knows? Every single month. Okay? So I just, you know, I just want to let you know that you should really keep on working towards your calling. Okay? It took me a while to get to this point right here in my life. Like I said, I've been working on Bookmatic since 2015 and it's, it's turned into more than I would have ever imagined, imagined at the beginning when I'm just like, oh yeah, let me review some books and share some reviews on my blog spot blog and share it to Facebook and, and I didn't even have an Instagram at that time. It's like, Okay, it's, it's built up so much from there because of my persistence, because of the time and energy and resources that I've put into Bookmatic. And I know that it's going to go so much further because of this calling, 
because of my effort to put the time, energy, and resources into it. So what is your calling? What do you really want to work on on the side so that you can build it up to become a financially lucrative and fun project or job or career? What is yours? What is your calling? All right, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for more valuable content. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys next time.